So here we are with uh, a question on the Zener diode circuit. So here we have this figure, the circuit figure. We have this Zener diode connected here in reverse bias mode. As you can see, this is the input voltage, 120 volt. Please check the polarity, positive, negative. Positive side is connected to the N end, negative side is connected to the P end. Normal reverse bias mode in which a Zener diode is connected. The Zener voltage or the breakdown voltage is 50 volt that is given. It means that when the voltage across these two terminals will be greater than or equal to 50, the Zener diode will be activated. We have the series resistance which is equal to 5 kilo ohm and the load resistance equal to 10 kilo ohm. This is a normal Zener diode circuit. So here uh, our objective is to find the output voltage, the voltage across the load resistance, the voltage drop across the series resistance R equals to 5 kilo ohm and the current flowing through the Zener diode. These are our objectives. Okay, so let us do. So first step in any uh, Zener diode circuit, it is a good practice which is to determine the state of the diode. So what we have to do is that we have to remove the Zener diode and assume that it is open circuited. Okay, so like this. We are removing the Zener diode, assuming that it is off, it is open circuited. Then we determine this voltage across these two terminals. This is the input 120 volt. So simple application of voltage division rule this voltage, let's say we call it V. V is equal to 120 into 10 kilo ohm by 5 plus 10. That is 120 into 10 by 15. Okay, so it is 14 to 2, 80 volt. So this voltage is equal to 80 volt. Now, 80 volt is much greater than, not much greater, but is greater than 50 volt, which is the Zener breakdown voltage. It means that the Zener diode is on, okay, it is activated. So the actual circuit will look something like this. The Zener diode is on and this is the actual circuit Vz equals to 50 volt then we have the load resistance like this this is the input 120 volt this is the series resistance which is equal to 5 kilo ohm this is the load resistance equal to 10 kilo. This is the actual circuit. Why? Because the Zener diode is on. The voltage across the Zener diode which is 80 volt is greater than its breakdown voltage. Suppose this voltage would have come let's say 40 volt. Then that, would is, that voltage is lesser than 50 volt and in that case the Zener diode is not activated and would have remained open circuited. Okay, it would have remained open circuited. So this is the actual circuit. So this is the actual circuit of the equivalent circuit of this, this one. So next we have to find out what these values are which are asked in the question. So here as you can see this circuit, this Zener diode circuit is a fixed source, fixed voltage source and fixed load type because 
the input voltage is fixed, the load resistor value is also fixed. So here the output voltage, the voltage across the load resistor that is equal to the Zener breakdown voltage. The output voltage is equal to the Zener breakdown voltage which is equal to 50 volt. Okay? So this is done. Then the next objective is to find out the voltage drop across R. So this voltage drop across these resistor, the series resistor. Okay? So for that what we have to do? We have to apply KVL. So let's say this is 120 volt this is the series resistor 5 kilo ohm this is let's say the voltage drop across it and this is the Zener diode breakdown mode okay in the breakdown mode in on mode which is Vz is equal to 50 volt so when we apply KVL here, it will be 120 minus VR minus VZ equals to 0. That implies VR is equal to 120 minus VZ. That implies VR is equal to 120 minus 50 is equal to 70 volt. So the voltage drop across the series resistor is equal to 70 volt. This, this is the second objective. This is the first one. Okay. Next, the current through the Zener diode. Okay. So for that, first we have to determine the load current okay so here this is the load current il il is equal to v0 by rl v0 is equal to vz which is equal to 50 volt so 50 volt by rl which is equal to 10 kilo ohm so that is equal to 5 milliampere load current is equal to 5 milliampere then the current flowing through the series resistance also we have to determine that okay this current flowing through the series resistance i this so for that the current will be vr by 5 kilo ohm okay vr by 5 kilo ohm the current flowing through the series resistor is vr by the series resistance which is equal to 70 volt by 5 kilo ohm which is equal to 14 milliampere okay 14 yes 14 milliampere so we have determined i we have determined il so this current flowing through the zener diode this current iz here if we apply kcl at this node, if we apply KCL at this node, the source current it splits into two parts. One part is the Zener current flowing through the Zener diode, and the other part is the load current flowing through the load resistance. We have determined this, which is equal to 14 milliampere. We have determined the load current, which is equal to here, we calculated 5 milliampere. Okay, 5 milliampere. So, Iz is simply 14 milliampere minus 5 milliampere, which is equal to 9 milliampere. Okay, I minus IL. This. So, the Zener current is equal to 9 milliampere. This. So, in any Zener diode circuit, this is the basic format, okay. This is the basic format 
as we have discussed it can be of uh, various types in some cases the input voltage will be variable in some cases the load resistance will be variable in that case you have to analyze it from the point of view of minimum and maximum zener currents minimum maximum load currents but here there is no such complication the load uh, the source voltage is fixed the load resistance is fixed so simple find out the state of the zener diode whether it is on or off if it is on find out its equivalent circuit replace it with its equivalent zener breakdown voltage with the same polarity plus minus because plus is connected to n minus is connected to p it is always connected in inverse bias mode always pay attention to the polarity okay plus positive followed by negative then depending on the questions what are your objectives find out the necessary parameters and then calculate the results okay